Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to breed adult doobie roaches and keep them in several different bins, bins of all different sizes. So first, what you'll need is a base tub. I got these Sterilite tub drawers off Amazon. They're like 60 bucks. I'll be showing you how to set up the adult dubias container. Not sponsored by Starlight Tub Drawers, just prefer them over any other drawer type, so Starlight, hit me up <laughs> if you'd like. So, start off with my adults. As you can see, they're already pretty, pretty set in here, so I'm going to be moving all those into, <clears throat> sorry, I have a bit of a cold right now, into there. But first, let's go ahead and get some of this vermiculite by Vigoro. Stuff is really good. Let me just go ahead and pour about an inch into there and I'll cut back to that. Now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and introduce our adults into here. I'm just going to move the old adults that were in here along with everything else. I actually don't know if you can see this. I'll move you over here. I'm going to move all the adults from in here, just off of these. Just going to carry these into there, place them in there. I'm going to try to get all the babies I can out of here, just like into the vermiculite if I can. Okay, there's loads of babies in here from them breeding. And I'll show you how to do that here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Just get you action shot of this. Go ahead and grab these and try to just flick the babies off. I'll get an even better shot over here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move all the adults, try to look for these babies and get the babies off of here so I can separate them to the best of my ability at least. Because no matter what, there's going to end up being babies and with these ones anyway. Go ahead and just shake them off into there. I'm not worried about them escaping because they're going to have everything that they need in here. Or if this one has to give them more areas to hide. Yeah, I'm not worried about them escaping because they'll have plenty of room and everything they need in there, so they're just going to be happy and jolly in there. Okay, I'm not going to put that one in. Keep that one out. Go ahead and check this one. This one has some babies on it, so I'll leave that in here too. Okay, now this one's going to be the tough one because there's lots of babies on this and lots of adults on this, as you can see. My colony's grown pretty big over the last half a year or so. As you can see, some of the males are even damaged from the other males fighting them for the ladies. So, um, I'm gonna try to actually get all the adults off of the babies. I'm gonna do that first, actually. But the issue is, there's a lot of adults on here too. It's gonna take a while to get them all off. I don't really like touching them that much, so I'm kind of like flicking them off like you can see. Some of them will just fall off too. They're pretty hardy, so they can they can endure. Here. There we go. Like, <laughs> these are pretty big and scary bugs, so. But they won't do anything to you if they get on you, see? They'll just walk around. They're not scary like cockroaches either. So if they manage to get out and you can't find them, they'll most likely die because they won't be able to survive the climate unless you live in Florida, but these are illegal to keep in Florida anyway, so shouldn't be any concern to you. There you go. I have, I think, about 50 adults. I'm just going to cut to when I have all these adults off. And even though these guys have wings, one more fact, they cannot fly. So you don't have to worry about them escaping because 
as I said, as long as you have the stuff that they need, they're not even going to want to escape because they just want food. Okay. Now that there's all the adults, I'm going to have this at the base of my stair light tub tower. And for that, move you over here. I'm going to take the heat pad off of the old enclosure. I just use one of the smaller um, zoom in heat things, heat pads. I'm going to go ahead and put it onto the bottom of this so that they can be heated. Because they need that heat in order to breathe. I could use this big one, but the big one generates a bit too much heat, so I haven't used it in a while. Solely because of that. I might use it on a red one of these days, but probably not. There we go. Now we got the, the base of our tower. Perfect. Now, on to fixing up the babies. I'm going to go ahead and move all the babies into here. For that, I'm literally just gonna pick them up. There's gonna be a bit of vermiculite in here, but it's not gonna be a lot, so it doesn't really matter. Like, look how many babies there are in here. I could honestly just dump all of this vermiculite into there. If you have like a sieve, it might work, but they're so small that they're like the size of the vermiculite. So, I'm just gonna fast forward through this all because you're not gonna wanna have to watch all this. Okay, I'm just going to do the rest of these baby dubias off camera because there's a lot and it's going to take me a very long time. So let's just move on to the more medium sized dubias. These dubias came in a box from dubiaroaches.com. They should be about an inch long, see? A bit more medium sized, unlike the other ones. Come straight in the postal box. I get ordered like 100 to 200 of them. I want to give it a good shaking because as you can see I just did that and there's still tons and tons in here. So you're going to want to be a little rough. Make sure that there's um, none left in the box because I'm guessing that whoever you live with, if you live with anyone, isn't going to want to see a bunch of these guys walking around or in the trash because that might um, scare them or give them weird vibes about you. So. I wouldn't recommend that. You don't need to give these sized this because they won't attack each other like the adults will. The adult males are a bit territorial, especially if there's not enough females. But these level, they haven't gotten there like, they are male or female, but they haven't like matured yet to the point where the, the males will start to kill each other. So they're safe to not have like a lot of this. 
And in fact, not having a lot of this will make them eat more, which will make them grow faster, especially if you put a lot of food in there. As you can see, that's all poop. And the poop doesn't smell bad, unlike cricket poop. Cricket poop smells horrendous. For what I do for the um, these sized ones is I take like a lid like this that you can get from your pet store. It's from like a Superworms container. I get mine from my local pet store. And then I just go ahead and sprinkle this food on here. They go through it fast, so you might need a bit of this. It's my second bag of it gone through like these last couple months so you will have to restock eventually but I just do that and then I go ahead and put, I put a little bit on there so that way they have an easier time getting onto that and then I still give them like baby carrots and stuff that are dirt cheap you don't need to go all out and buy expensive baby carrots just go to this dollar store get some baby carrots throw a couple in here throw a couple in here with your babies throw a couple in with all of them everything will be fantastic <laughs> Okay, now time for my awkward, like, middle-phase ones that I have. Like, an awkward size. I'm just gonna keep this guy in with him, because I don't really care. He can just chill. Once he becomes an adult, I'll care more, but... I, I'm not gonna give these guys an um, area to hide either. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot, because they're just little, so... Once I... Go through all the babies. I'm also just gonna get rid of the cardboard in there because I don't need to have it in there. I'll give them a little bit. I could give them like, here, perfect example. These little ones, give them like these so that they do have a chance to feel a little secure. They don't need it. Medium size don't need it. Babies don't need it. In between don't need it. Only adults because the adults will fight each other. And I don't think you wanna have your $30 wasted. So I'm also going to move these off camera. If you have any more questions about dubia roaches, feel free to comment down below. If you have any corrections on anything that I said, comment down below, etc, etc. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.